as you touched on, Sid, like actuarial study is quite a challenging degree. And mm. basically how things work in the actual degree um, at most Australian universities, if not all, is that you need to get a certain mark in order to get an exemption. Um, so what happens is that to become an actuary, it's actually monitored by an external board. So I think like in law, they, they, they'd have like, I guess the passing the bar exam or or right. I guess whatever that's called. But for actuarial studies, we have a series of exams that you have to pass. And basically through university, you sort of get exempted by it. So basically you have to get certain marks, say a credit in order to get an exemption. So if you miss that credit, you have to repeat the subject kind of thing. So I think mm -hmm. um, a lot of students have quite a bit of pressure to get a certain mark. So I think the whole point of that article was to emphasize that there are other opportunities outside the marks. And I think in my case, it was me doing that internship and how that practical work experience um, really helped me um, probably more so than my marks did because I got exposure to the real working world. I was only 19 yeah. at the time. So like it's, it's yeah. And, and also the importance of networking, right? I think that's something that a lot of uni students underestimate early on in their degrees, right? Um, the idea of being in the office environment, talking to people, mm -hmm. learning what good practices are. So I think while a lot of actuarial students, I guess rightly so, focus on marks, I wanted to emphasize that there's a lot more things involved in that. And I guess, I guess in any profession, right, if you want to be at the very top, you can't just do academically well. You have to know how to network if you have good people skills. So I think that was something I was trying to emphasize through that internship experience. The other thing actuaries should focus on as well is they have these technical skills, but they need to explain uh, the insights from their data, right? So they need to explain to someone who has no actuarial background, like literally does not, maybe even doesn't know what an interest rate is and stuff like that. And they need to explain to them how they got to their findings. Because I think in general, in any profession, it's all good and well if you know what you're doing and you're talking to people in your profession. But I think where where knowledge is shared and where people can gain the most is if you can if you can explain to them in very simplified terms and how your data tells a story i think that's something that actual students really need to work on and